everyone. Thank you for attending the Texas A&M 12th Eclipse Team's 2020 TSGC Design Showcase. My name is Lauren Brady, and I am the team lead for this project. Also on the team are Matt Rodriguez, the deputy team lead, Van La, and Michael Rakowski. I would like to take this time to thank our team's advisors, Dr. Chamatoff, Lei Wong, and Neil McHenry for their support. Our team's design goal is to create an AR application on the HoloLens for assistance with intravehicular activity procedures, including ISS maintenance procedures, experiment and research tasks, and documenting items in storage. In addition, we are incorporating a telepresence whiteboard to allow mission control to provide real-time support in the AR display of the astronaut. Our team is part of the 12th Astronaut Lab, home of the Texas A&M NASA Suits team. Our design builds off the user interface panels designed for NASA Suits competition, but are reimagined to provide support for IVA procedures rather than lunar operations. The first design feature our team developed are the maintenance panels. These panels are transparent and can be set to either follow the user or be placed in a static location. These panels are preloaded with the task procedure that the user can iterate through as they complete them. There is also a diagram view where the user can open interactive 3D models of the task they are working on. This video shows a simulation of snapping connectors together. The astronaut is seen placing the panels in the space while they are working in order to reduce clutter in the field of view. You can also see how the astronaut goes through each procedure and is also able to open the diagram panel and interact with the 3D models of the connectors that they are working on. Our UI revolves around conducting experiments and other various tasks in an IVA laboratory setting like the International Space Station. One of the most important jobs for an astronaut in the ISS is to conduct experiments for NASA and its clients. Just like laboratories here on Earth, the researcher must conduct an experiment with a specified series of steps. Therefore, we developed an experiment panel that allows the user to identify and select simply by looking at the UI and pinching their current experiment and their current step while also tracking their progress. This can be seen on our full detail view panel on the right. Additionally, our experiment panel allows for models to be displayed that might pertain to the experiment being conducted. We call this our diagram panel. This design feature gives the individual conducting the experiment an ability to cycle through various diagrams which can alleviate time consumption and confusion. Finally, we acknowledge that when an astronaut is conducting such an experiment, they might want to choose a less obstructed panel. We added a smaller but equally beneficial panel just for the current experiment and the current step. This panel can be currently be seen to the right. Overall, our design is tailored to be to the idea that our UI can be present during preparation stages and experimentation without interference. Howdy, my name is Matthew Rodriguez. I'm the deputy team lead for this Wealth Eclipse and I'll briefly be summarizing the growth of protein crystals aboard the International Space Station. To kick it off, we have to ask ourselves, why are we growing these crystals in the first place? By no means is this a short process, it takes six months and is very expensive to send all this laboratory equipment up into space. Typically, protein crystals are grown in a laboratory environment so that they can be harvested later for use in the medical industry, and this can be used to treat a wide range of diseases. The reasons these crystals are being grown on the ISS opposed to on home soil is that during the crystallization process here on Earth, the natural gravitational constant causes convection currents to disrupt the structure during crystallization, and this leads to imperfect samples. Whereas in a microgravity environment, these currents are absent. This allows for the protein molecules, all of which exhibit a random motion due to their natural vibration, to slowly migrate towards growing a crystal structure, producing a much larger, more perfect sample that can be studied here back on Earth to further aid the medical industry. This video shows the simulated experiment of growing protein crystals on the ISS. The procedure being followed is to take the protein solution from the first petri dish and add it to the protein molecules in the second petri dish. Finally, place the crystals under the microscope to check that they have fully formed. 
The astronaut is shown using the multiple panel display settings and location options to customize the information shown in a way conducive to the experiment. The full detail view and diagram view are beneficial as explanations of the procedure, while the current step view is less obtrusive and easy to display while completing the experiment. These panels will save time spent referring back to procedures and will give astronauts a more interactive and efficient method of completing experiments. This design will also increase the ability to communicate with the experiment designers on Earth through the virtual whiteboard, whose capabilities will be displayed next. Howdy, I'm Neil McHenry. The 3D Telepresence Whiteboard is a unique new feature we've developed that allows Mish Control to remotely guide astronauts during intravehicular operations using splines and holograms in 3D space. Instead of having to solely rely on an audio loop for task assistance, such as in the past, the IV crew member will now have customized visual cues floating in front of them, guiding them through each task. This technology helps guide the astronaut visually through any drawing that a crew member or mission controller may create. As can be seen in the video, the primary tool for remote annotation is the spline pen. The remote user may freehand draw in any shape, as shown in the virtual ISS connector procedure simulation. This virtual 3D whiteboard can help with navigational cues as well as demonstrations where objects should be placed. The whiteboard has undo slash redo functionality as well as options to change drawing color and size. Lastly, the astronaut's visor in the field sends back crew member transform data as well as scan environment mesh data. This makes sure that Mission Control will have situational awareness of the area surrounding the astronaut at all times. To assist with storage accessibility on the ISS, our team has developed storage panels. These panels are tied to a specific storage container and contain 3D models of the contents of that container. These panels reduce the amount of time spent searching for items in storage and make it faster to search multiple bags by simply opening their respective panel. This video shows the astronaut searching the contents of a storage bag in the multipurpose module. The contents are displayed in a page view with interactable 3D models and appropriate labels displayed. For the average activity, we present to you Spark, an online learning interface about all things aerospace. In the interface, we talk about the profession of an aerospace engineer, what exactly is an aerospace engineer and what their responsibilities are. We also discuss the ever-increasing importance of aerospace engineering and how it truly is an all-encompassing interdisciplinary field. The interface then dives into different interactive modules where students are walked through simple experiments and activities that demonstrate the various jobs of an aerospace engineer. Some of our modules include straw helicopters, marbles on trampoline experiment, and air propelled rockets. In every module, we try to foster as much creativity and independence as possible by letting the students take ownership of their designs instead of providing them with a cookie cutter solution. At the end of each activity, students will have the option to share their designs. One future goal for this project is to incorporate AR overlays on hardware to further assist with maintenance, repair, and assembly tasks. The Texas A&M 12th Eclipse team would like to extend our sincerest thanks to our advisors, collaborators, and TSGC for their support during this project. If you have any questions, we will be at the team meet and greet this evening, and feel free to contact Lauren Brady, whose email address and phone number are listed below. Thank you for attending our presentation, and have a wonderful rest of your day.